G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We were back in our Mega City series, about to take on a whole new city. We're leaving the path well traveled where we feel comfortable and kind of know what's going on. Oh god, maybe we don't, maybe there's a lot more of this place than I gave it credit for. Now listen, listen, I'm trying to intro a video here. I need all of you guys just to sod off for a little bit while I can talk to all the people. Rude. Heckin' rude. Bide your time. You can't just interrupt me like that. Right. Anyway, g'day guys. Welcome back to Mega City. We were at Woodle's Grain. I went and changed the sign. Unfortunately, only needed to change around a couple of letters, but I've definitely laid my claim to this building. They can send hordes of zombies at me all they want. They ain't having it back. What'd you bring me though? The housewarming gifts. Some snacks, some ammo, and some gubs. Thank you very much. Before I go, I will just drop off all of those things. Uh, I've got all the stuff I need. Yeah, I'm pretty good to go. All right, let's just jump out the window and land on my bike perfectly. I still don't know if like, I have enough money now. Uh, by the way, I got it wrong. I thought it was $15,000 reducing it to not break your ankles. It's only five. You guys corrected me on that one, so thank you for that. So I've got that going for me. I've also got... Well, there's the morning chime. I've also got like parkour and stuff working for me, so I should be able to jump out of that window and not be hurt, but <laughs> I mean, stranger things have happened to us. Nothing in the vending machine. It's a brand new dawn, a brand new day. Let's get going. So the plan is just to drive straight up the guts here, right up the corridor, up the main road of the winter town and see where it spits us out. You know, I know I've got this mountain range to my right, which is fine. There's a pass through there, which I really actually quite like that cheeky little valley through to the wasteland. But if I go north, I'm hoping it'll kind of like spin around and spit me back out where the desert is. At least that's the dream. We'll see how it ends up though. It's, it's always interesting going into a, like an unexplored area. Never know what you're going to come up against. There's a big old like ruin of a refinery here. That looks bloody sick. If I didn't have things to do today, I would definitely have a cheeky pop off and have a little squiz through you. That's a really cool POI. In fact, ah, listen, listen, why not? We're here now and we're on an adventure going elsewhere. Who knows when we'll be back. So I may as well have a quick little gander about and see what's going on inside this place. If you guys will let me through the front door, please. I didn't come to see you guys. Can you all just leave me alone? I'm trying to figure out what the... Oh, jeez. All right, someone's real cranky about it. I'm trying to figure out what the desired path to get through this place actually is, but there's not a whole lot of, like, easy pathing to be found. What a oh, I saw a shadow, though. <laughs> yep, definitely saw a shadow. Oh, and a rad. All right, that's some pretty serious kit, then. I'm going to wait out here. Ratty boy's forgotten where I've gone. Can I have to go like this and... Damn it, I was going to try and feed you a bolt. Didn't pay at first, but I understand why you weren't into that. Try it again. No, wait on. Stop playing with poles and get over here. Oh, you're making me wait and I'm so impatient. All right, let's try this then. That's the rad. Aim up a little bit about... There. No bolt drop at all. So we're going to try again. Just like that. Didn't kill him, but did sit him down. So he's going to be really aggravated about that. Quickly reload the magnum. Stop going straight for the pole. Good. Gotcha. That was very loud, though. No one else is around. We're all good. Right. Okay, that was a bit more of a welcome than I anticipated. Ooh, sneaky hatch underneath all the refinery stuff. I'm right below the chimneys. Okay, I haven't gone up into the building yet, but... This seems like as good a place as any to start my adventure. Oh, shit. Uh, right. I've got a little bit of time, I think, because Olbates is stuck in the cupboard over there like he's a can of tin peas. Nah. Nah. Not doing it. Not doing it. I tried to be calm. I tried to be quiet. But you're both ferals. I'm going to give you what you deserve. It's a round through the chin. Oh, here comes a couple of them to come and have words with me about my ruckus downstairs. Or well, they're going to come to this door. Will they go down to get to me? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out in a moment. There is this sneak. Oh, God. Wait. Wait. Wait on. Saw you. Oh, that's a rad. Woo. Fuck it. Too scary. Too scary for me. I'm not brave enough to deal with this properly. They are going through the sewers to get to me. Interesting. Bad time to reload. Okay. Okay. What the fuck is that noise? Is that like a bloody mountain lion outside? Have the cougars found me? 
Oh, man. Someone get me a vodka Red Bull. I'm going to need to keep up tonight. All right. Well, while the 3 a.m. crowd is coming for me, let's quickly raid you. A couple of sticks at dynamite. I mean, well, that's going to get me. Oh, it's going to bring down the building, though. That's probably a silly decision, Josh. You probably shouldn't be so willy-nilly with explosives because you're not good at them at the best of times. Finish him off. I mean, I shot her in the ass, but she's still cracking on. She's determined. I'll give her that. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Sir. Oh. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the compliment, but this glory hole was far too big for me. Keep on chucking up and see what else is around. Uh, are you like solid or? Oh, you're very solid. Okay, what about you? Less solid. So if I need to get through that, I can go over the top of it. Or I could just go the way that the game wants me to and go up the stairs here. That would probably work far, far better. Anything else around? Always check for like little bags and stuff hidden around nooks and crannies. Nothing so much. Ooh. This is a much bigger POI than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a remnant, but nah. Hang on. Hang on. Just like... No one there. I don't trust it. There's a lot of zombie trafficking going on. Half the time you see a box, there's usually someone inside it. There we go. No one else here. <laughs> Thanks for my bolt back. Thank you very much. Looks like the office is empty, so I'll just slink on down. Check the desk for nothing there. Any water? Ooh, I shall drink you right now to keep my digestive efficiency up and about. We're a long way off the deck, though. I really like this place. I like this place a lot. If I didn't already have a house, I'd probably try and shake up if there's like a full a full room up the top somewhere. I could definitely see myself using this as a forward base, or like a proper base on a different life. No one here. Jump to there. Still no one about. Okay. Where are all the zombies that all be out here by now? Oh, Josh, you missed an entire plank. All right, that was real silly. Let's go back down and go the way we should have gone the first time. Another tier three steel pickaxe. I'll just scrap you. I'll take the frames. Got 350 frames on me now, which is probably a little bit excessive, but that's right. I'll find a use for them sooner rather than later, I'm sure. Uh, this way? So I was just there on the other side of that room. There's no door on this side, so I guess it's just an up and over job. Oh. Uh, ooh, there's more stuff over there too. Hang on a jiffy. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Go like that. And then just like, oh, come on, we're right here. That way. I wanted that to be cleaner. This didn't quite go how I thought it might. But no one else backing you up. All right, well, get wrecked then. Even though I've got to the end of this pier, well, I'm still not sure. Ooh, get a bud. I'm still not sure what the right... There we go. What the right way to go would have been. He has gone sailing down to the road below. Hop over there. Because, yeah, like one way. Ooh. I guess you guys heard me making a ruckus before. I mean, that's okay. You can come and get mincemeated on the grate there. Push you through like I'm slicing the zucchini. Yep, and it won't get back up again either. Nice. But yeah, I'm not sure what the right way to go was. Because I was there, but how would I have gotten around to that side to get up to the roof to go through the hole? I don't know. I don't know, but either way, we're at the end of it now. Grab you. Mm, I don't need either of you, actually. I'll leave you behind. What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box today? More health stuff, probably fair enough. And not much else. There's no ladders to get to the top of the of the chimney, so I'm not going to break my legs today at the very least. All right, let's get the last of it and go. Wasn't really much of anything up here. That's like the only still complete room in the joint. So if I was going to make a base in here, this would be where I'd make it. I suppose this isn't the worst place in the world. I don't know. I'll keep it in mind for another time. Someone's stuck in the fencing over there. Can I drop all the way down? That would be silly. I'm not sure how much faith I'm putting into uh, uh, my several perks, but that's probably a little bit too much. Thought I heard something. Nope, we're fine. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Successful little opening raid. Yeah, that place was sick. I know people are going to be like, oh, typical Josh. You start a mission and immediately get sidetracked four seconds into it. But I didn't raid it then. I would have never raided it. And we'd never know how cool that place actually was. So I stand by, by my lack of attention span. We are up onto the cusp of new territory, though. So we'll see what we're up against. I think I didn't go any further this way because this was the end of the city. Ooh, what have we got? We've got a high school out there. We'll go and check the bus, but not much more. I'll just go ahead in a straight line and see where we end up. Oh, no, there's a fence there. No bus for me then. 
Oh, cheeky passing gas. Uh, well, yeah, I have to. I have to because yeah, I've, I've got to try and find the stuff for the better vehicles, right? The, I've got the better looting stage because I'm in the um, I'm in the winter biome, so got to take advantage of that while I can. That's the wrong gun. Give me that one, please. Quickly to sit you down before I go and get myself balls deep in another problem. I don't need that. Actually, that can go away. All right, let's get in, get out nice and quickly. This is the bunker passing, guys. So there should be some good stuff for me down below. I'm just going to make sure I get there. Still in one piece. Making short work of most of this and trying to take things that might come in handy when I go, hopefully, to a new town. So anything like cooking pots, grills, I haven't found any yet, but like fluids and things, medical supplies, I'm going to try and take with me where I can. I'd rather have them scattered around the world and not need them than the other way around. I mean, having me scattered around the world and nothing in supply. Car parts box. <sighs> Forge schematic. I mean, I like it in the schematics, but I want the other ones, please. Nothing else behind here. No, okay. Anything in the car? Hopefully there's something good for me downstairs, but uh, it's been a long time since I was confident about any of that. We're making pretty good time. We're already down into the bunker down below. Uh, I don't... Like, I do need the sand back at my apartment, but I don't need it here. All right, let's do this quick. Let's do this nice and quick. Open up. No one noticed. Quickly murder you. Any one of the friends in here? Probably one hiding out in there. Good shots. Oh, I can kill the next with a crossbow too. Nope, I can't. I lied. I tried. I failed miserably. That's why, Bart, the lesson is never try. There is an electronics box in here, so it gets me a little fizzy, but I know better than to start expecting things. Tier 4 Magnum, let's just do a cheeky compare. You're doing 106 to 89. Wow, my tier 5 is so much better. Scrap you for the pistol parts because I always need those. I did leave some pretty, damn it, some pretty valuable stuff. I was hoping I got distracted by other things. DD might show up, but wasn't to be. I left a lot of valuable things in the winter base. I might need to go back there sooner rather than later then, if that's the case. Check the weapons bag over there for... Ew, gross. Gross. In fact, you know what? Give me that. I have to wash my hands immediately afterwards. I'll put you where you belong. Someone flush that for me the next time you're here. Passing gas is done. I'll just chuck a frame out the front so I can find out later that if I come here again, I know that I've definitely been there. I need to be more vigilant about doing that. I do the same thing with my POIs in this game that I do with anything of importance. I go, ah, it's fine. I'll remember that. It's important. Of course I'll remember that. Then I immediately forget it and make myself look like a Muppet. So I'll start putting frames down wherever I can. We've made it to the end of the winter biome, though. There's nothing about... I thought there was another city out here somewhere. Is it further over to, like, my right-hand side? Hmm, okay. All right, well... I've, oh, there's the coastline over there, actually. Okay, so I've got the coastline on my left, the mountains on my right, and just plains in between. Ooh, there's some buildings, though. Long way in the distance. All right. All right, I'm game. What you got for me, Desert? Let's do it. Yeah, look, there's all of the town out that way. I knew it was out there somewhere, but I did just kind of spy with one of my several eyes. There's a passing gas out that way. And we know how I feel about my desperation to get a, mo a motorcycle or a gyrocopter. And I may not have the sweet loot level of the desert, of the, sorry, the winter anymore, but it's still 98. It might be good enough to get a motorcycle uh, schematic. I hope it is. Is this place a POI I want to go through as well? New Life Hope Cabin. Uh, I can't get distracted so easily. All right, Express Raid. Express Raid, let's do it. Let's go nice and quickly. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking when I stopped off. I'm pr I was pretty sure there was a server box in here, and sure as shit there was. Take all of you. Not much else. Quickly grab. Mm, don't need that one. There is the cicadas of midday, though. So, gotta go extra quickly. If I get to a new city and I can't find somewhere to put down some stakes before nighttime falls, that's going to be bad for me. So I can't just dally that much. Quickly go down the ladder, down to the bottom of the well. Rather than falling into the zombie trap, I'll do it myself. Hit you. There's someone to the left. Kill you as well. Is that everyone? Seems like it is. All right, nice and easy then. Got all the gubbins to myself then. What have you got to offer? No, I'll take you. Shotgun tube mod extender. I'm not rolling shotguns. I'm finding shotgun mods all over the place. A book I haven't read. Not the last one of the series. Sounds like someone's getting pretty close by. I'm sure they'll join me down here in a jiffy. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. And nothing there. 
Although, finding Magnum ammo was finding a little bit low on it. Not too bad. Last but not least is like the proper cabin. Jump up on the table because all the floor here is fake floor and will get me killed. I just heard someone groan at me. There you are. I was going to say, I was pretty sure you were up here somewhere. Wasn't taking the risk. Ooh, awesome source. I... I'm so used to wanting these things so bad that I usually take it with me. I need to remember I don't need them this time because there's no traders. Search all of you. Ooh, some extra food out of that one. And, ooh, I wanted the cook and pop, but no luck. Take the acid. Check for a toilet gun. Nah, nah, nah. All right, well, let's just get out of here then, I suppose. Most of this is done and dusted. Yeah, no, I think we're good. The weather's turned a bit and I can't quite see where I'm going, but I'm just kind of driving in hope that it wasn't a mirage I saw before. I hadn't been drinking any cactus juice and seeing giant mushrooms on the on the horizon. Go away. Oh, didn't die from one. Didn't go the power stroke. Probably silly. You're probably not strong enough to be doing that kind of glass stuff, Josh. Come on, come in. Come in. There we go. See? Always power stroke. It's so much better. There it is. There it is. The gas station on the edge of the world. That's what I'm here for. I'm not even sure where the entryway is, but I'll just... There it is. I'll just pull in like this, like a proper customer. I'll chuck you down first so I don't get confused later. There we are. I've got a lot of gubbins on me that I probably don't need. Can you just... Oh, I've got a lot of stuff in you too. God, I'm taking so much trash with me. So let's be on a new adventure, Josh. Not lugging a bunch of pebbles about. We're doing this nice and quickly. Murder you. Don't bother getting up, bud. And no one up the top either. Okay. Well. Oh. Someone's annoyed about that. Apparently, I murdered their favorite gas pumping tenant. What have you got? Mm, nothing. What have you got? Kind of still nothing. Hang on a second. I just need to quickly murder you. Go away. Stand up again for me, though, please, so I can kill you again. Nice. Wait. What? Die. There we go. God, how many magnum rounds can you take to the chest before you get the bloody hints? Can I stash the cooling mod into anything? I do get overheated that here pretty easily. Easily into you. Nice, nice. Okay. Not much in here, but that's okay. It was worth the look. Just had to make sure of it. I imagine if I just follow this path from the gas station, it'll take me all the way back into town. But unlike in the wasteland where you need to follow the path or else you get exploded, I can just hit a beeline right there and see what we come up against. I wanted to go and get the treasure quest. I, like, that was one of my goals for today. But it immediately got distracted by all sorts of silly things. So I suppose now, I should just go to town, find a place to bunker down and have like a forward base in that town as well. Then once that's set up, I can go back and try and get the treasure quests. But I need to drop off all of the gubbins I'm carrying. My pockets are overloaded. I'm leaving lint all over the place. What I'm looking for, like as always, is just an elevated position. Doesn't have to be too tall. There's the spire of that church there and another town hall. Which is very tempting because the town hall does make a good base. But I've already got one town hall desert base. I can't have another one. I'm going to change it up a little bit and find somewhere else to live. There's also a grain elevator down here. Another Woodle's grain. Mm, what can I find? What can I find that might get me a little bit more excited? We've got a whole city to choose from. We don't have to slump with the first thing we see. I love the feeling of riding into a new town. All the streetlights all lined up. That nice, like, straight road right through the guts of it. Just makes me feel all sorts of fizzy. I mean, that's pretty tall. Like, ooh, potential. There's a Cracker Book HQ here. And also a bloody trolley left in the middle of the road. Oh, and a penguin too. Go away. Anyone else? Nope, we're fine. All right, well. Hmm. Okay. Like. That could be a good base, right? It's high enough off of the street that I'm not going to have any problems, but it's also right smack dab in the middle of town. So I can do all the same shit I get up to in the other desert town. And it's across the road from a cracker book. I reckon this is the one. I reckon this is the one. I haven't been to one of these new churches yet, though, so this could be anything. Oh, I'm not sure about this all of a sudden. This could be a really bad idea. Probably is a really bad idea, but I'm going to have to have... Oh, God! Have words about it down on the streets. I was not expecting you to catch up to me that bloody quickly. Dude's freaking Usain Bolt as zombies. Well, let's try this again, this time with the SMG, because apparently whatever is in here is not fucking about... There wasn't an invitation to strip of titties. Calm all of your farms. Oh, I did 
Okay, yeah, I saw a couple up. Well, they have to get to get to me. They have to go up the little stairwell of death here. So call it a stairway of heaven or whatever you want to do. You're about to exist on a whole other ethereal plane. That works. I hear a spider boy as well. That's fine. I got 40 more rounds in the magazine. I'm good to go if you are. I really hope there's like... Oh, good day, buddy boy. In fact, I'm kind of close enough. Oh, for goodness sake, you're slicing a pillow like you're freaking blinking. That's not the time to be serving beers, bud. <sighs> well, okay, I wanted to go nice and easy and slice them up, but no deal. But I'm hoping there's an easy way to get up into the top of this tower, which so far it looks like there kind of might be. Oh, good view, though. Oh, still got some lyrics on the wall. That's fine. Mm, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to live in this tower. I'm committed now. It has to happen. There's another bell at the very tippy top. Oh. So this is where people are stashing all their birds, apparently. <laughs> Bloody like the hunchback's been having an orgy up here and left all these birds behind. Now it can't just go. No, I can't, apparently. Ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That's better. I tried to go guns ablaze and the game's like, you muppet, why would you even try that? You're not good enough to hit the broad side of a barn, let alone a pelican moving about in disguise. Up we go, all the way to the top. Ooh. Cheeky weapons bag, what have you got for me? Ooh. Nah. Nah. And in fact, nah for you too. Poppin' pills box, so the spies have got gubs. I bet there's more to this place though. This is an interesting place to have a house. I'm going to check the other spire as well. I'm going to be living up here for a while. May as well clear it all out as best I can. Can't get down that way. It will go around the outside like a trailer park girl then. Out to here. Get your machete out then because that's your vulture dispatcher. Oh, don't even worry about it. Look at the... Ooh, look at the view though. So there's a gap there, but then another city further up. So double desert city. Oh, that's so good. What a cool looking town as well. All right, well, enough gushing about that. Pop you open. Have a squeeze at you. Not much, but that's to be expected. Oh, there is some knowledge here for me. I'm ready to drip every last drop of it. It is a little bit cramped in here. I've only got, what, four... Oh, geez. Only four usable spaces in the tower itself, which is not very much. If I go down a level, though, that gives me what? Uh, like, four by four. Okay. Okay. This is definitely more doable than the other option. I'm going to get rid of you and get rid of the ladder on the outside as well. Like, that's fine. That can stay there. In fact, just for just for the sake of it, can I bong the bell? Still can't bong the bell, which is very disappointing. But this here, I think this is going to be my house. In fact, what's really nice about this is I don't even have to do any renovations. I got rid of the blocks and I can make that jump, but zombies can't. They can't get to me through here, I don't think. There's no passage across that one. I'll just make doubly sure of it, though. You're stronger than I thought you'd be, but it's alright. It doesn't take too long with my sweet steel pickaxe. Get rid of you. I'll check down here. No, you can't get that way either. You're made out of wood for some reason. Or is that... Hang on. Is that important? No, I don't think it is. What are you protecting? Oh, just the outside. There's a whole wandering horde going past. Oi, dickheads! can pick you off from the church. That's what happens when you miss Sunday Mass. I mean, I'm not going to let free experience go begging, am I? I want those levels to get all the things leveled up as much as I can. I thought someone said it much closer to me, and they did. Arlene has... Do you know Praise to you, Arlene. You know, ducking off the peer pressure and going your own way. You can go your own way. What a legend. Well, I mean, she still died, but she died on her own terms, and that's that's admirable. The weather's turned, but that's okay, because now I have a roof over my head. I feel much better about everything that's going on here. Give me you, and in fact, get rid of you entirely, because this is my new home. <laughs> it's a little blustery, but it's going to have to do. Uh, I'm full of stuff. Turn that into you and make myself some chests. Like... Three, let's go four. Let's go four. We can chuck them all along the side over there. I'll plug you up with a ramp block so I don't bonk my head getting back up here again. You, that one. Do I even need the ladder? Probably not. At least not the bottom two runs at the very least. You know what? No, I've, I've made the conscious decision I don't need the entire ladder. That was definitely deliberate. Anyway, let's get my chest and chuck them down. Home sweet home, lads. We're here. I'm going to chuck all of that... 
away. In fact, I'll grab real quick where we do. I'll make another land claim block, which will be the fourth one. So what? I've got one at the apartments, got one in the desert, got one in the winter, and now another one in the other desert. So that's fine. Which I you into there. Might even just while away if that's a craft. Separate my food and drinks and whatnot. Take all you and chuck you in the box next door. That stuff too. And all the health supplies. Yep, yep, good decisions. Okay, in you go into that one. Easy peasy. It's seven o'clock. I reckon I got time. I reckon I got time to go get Taylor's treasure map. I told myself I'd do it and I'm gonna bloody do it. I'm gonna stick to the plan even when the plan goes to shit. It's a long drive into the driving rain, but we're making progress slow but surely. <laughs> that, that silhouette just like gives me a little pang of comfort when I see it. I'm so used to it being my house all the way back down south. Been a big day of adventure today, I'm not gonna lie. There's another school, I'll duck around the back of it. Oh, as the weather starts to clear. Lovely, means I can see some things and see the mupper coming up behind me trying to peck out my brains. Sorry, a magpie strapped with zip ties on this morning so you can't get to me. God, I hope this thing's in the wasteland still. A treasure cache. Oh, jeez, that was a lot of noise. A treasure cache in the wasteland should give me some pretty decent stuff. Oh, it's looking like it's got potential. There was a bit of a spur of wasteland sticking out much further north than I anticipated. Oh, and an extra road. I thought I'd done all the roads in the way, so there's a sneak right out here. Maybe they cross for a little bit, but it's... I mean, it might go back in. That is a water balloon, Jeffrey. Sneak them out looking for someone to get their super soaker out on. Sit it out, you tabalard. I reckon it's in the wasteland. I reckon it's in the wasteland. I mean, yes, it's more risky to dig up, but it should. God, it's got to be worth it. I'm excited about it. Yeah, all right. We're taking the bike in, but really quick, I'm going to raid this car. Oh, no. Dodge it. You cheeky sausage. You saw me murder water balloon and tried to fill him back up again. Not happening. Take your flex tape somewhere else. Let's go nice and slowly. Watch out for any landmines. I think if I hit a mine, I shouldn't die straight away, but it's still not really something I want to experiment with. Speaking of, go away. Uh, we'll go around this way, I think. Just try and stick to the nice level ground and don't run over anything that looks sus. There's that. Nice. Good. Happy. No bears. That's what I was really worried about. All right, got like an hour to dig this up. Do I use the shovel? No, I use the pickaxe. I mean, that's fine. As long as it gets me in there quick. That looks like dirt. So, yep. And is dirt nice even quicker? So a couple of layers of rock up the top, but that's nothing I can't deal with. Down to the next layer of stone and keep on digging away. We're going to go express. Got to go express to get the circle in as quickly as possible. An hour to go. Oh, God, I hope a bear doesn't fall down here, though. If I get trapped in a hole with a bear, well, he's going to have his own teddy bear picnic. Here we go. I found the yellow circle on all sides, and it's kind of pushing me that direction, about here somewhere, I think. Doesn't mean shit. We know that the treasure can be outside the circle, because fuck you and your rules. Oh, but there it is. Okay, nice. What's the time? It's quarter past nine. I've got to pick our way in, so I've got plenty of lockpicks, though. I've got lockpicking canning in the bike if things go really sideways really quickly, but get in here, get the reward, and skedaddle. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm weirdly excited about it, which means I'm going to be disappointed, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready to be disappointed again. I'm ready to go through that emotional baggage and damage, but you've got to let me in first. There we go. On the zeros. Nice. We're in. What have you got for me? Shiny rocks, some ammo. Oh, that's that's dismal. That's that was completely dismal. I've had better gubbins coming out of a dirty hillside out in the pine forest biome. That's not what I expected out of you at all. All right, well, let's all oh, this is risky going through the shrubs where I can't see. Quickly search you though. What have you got? Anything fun? No. Well, that was just one utter disappointment, wasn't it? Let's get out of here before we hit a mine and get back to our new home. Just taking this opportunity as the sun is setting to scout out what we've got available to us. Got a cracker book there. I'll keep you in mind for another day. Lots of storefronts, which is good. Some passing gases around as well, which gets me fun. Um, no, that's an ambulance. Popping pills, working stiffs. Sun's about to set. Ooh, an electronic sign. Is that a... That's a full electronics joint. Interesting. Not sure if I have the level to find a DD. I think people were saying it was like level 8, but I think I'll give up on that and just try and find a schematic for her instead. I can build my own best friend. Oh god, don't stop there, idiot. But I don't have to find one in one piece. 
Well, hopefully I can get home one piece of this, mate. That was real silly. Look how good that looks, though. The red glow behind the church that I've taken over for my own nefarious deeds. That looks good to me. Park up out the front in a car park. Even look at me being a respectful road user. Um, there's a car pull of Muppets around. He moved right the last second. Try to take a snapshot and whiffed it. Better. Just clear out the neighborhood. Because the last thing I need in a new base is zombies testing the defenses before I've even bloody built the things. You can cop one as well. Damn it. I'm still trying to figure out the speed of these bloody bolts. You'd think after having this bow for so long, I'd have got it down pat by now. I guess not. Okay. Easy as. Nothing in you. Still got bloody Terry with a titty slapping turret hanging out in there, but I'll get him later. Up we go. All the way to the top. Oh, it's good to be in a new home. It's going to take me a little bit of time to go through and just sort out all my inventory and stuff. Make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Uh, I mean, I suppose I get rid of these planks as well. Do a little bit of upkeep and just make this place a bit nicer to live in. But it's looking pretty good. I think the, I think the best port of call for me is day 39. I have to be home by day 42. I spent a lot of time out and about raiding lots of things. But day 42 is the next horde. And as much as I would like to build myself a, like, a wasteland horde base somewhere... I can't really do that in the next three days. I think after day 42, as much as I like the apartment base, I want to get the better gubbins out of the loot bag. So it might even be worth a try just building something on like the border of the wasteland somewhere just to try and get those better loot bag drops. Oh, I thought that was a good pill, but I guess not. But I don't know. I haven't made decisions yet. We'll see how I feel on another day in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.